Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. Obviously, if this review on your end was in 3D, I think you, you would have been taken back by that introduction. I bet you would have gone like that, and you would have been propelled back because it looked like I was reaching through the screen at you. Oh, just like that, too. I don't know what that introduction was even getting to, but there you have it. That's, that's how I'm switching things up this time around. A Taco Bell review. Taco Bell is one of those establishments these days that pumps out a lot of new items. And, uh, I mean, obviously that's good for me. It's a lot to try out. Uh, sometimes I wish more places were kind of as active as Taco Bell is, but uh, it is what it is. There's still some new things coming out here and there. Speaking of new items, I know some people might be wondering. Uh, upcoming videos, hoping to try out some items from Arby's and uh, maybe something from Burger King, too. So just a little preview of things to come. Today's review, though, is for the Toasted Cheddar Chalupa from Taco Bell. I believe this item has been out before, but it's always good to just check it out if they're bringing something back, see if they're maintaining the standards, uh, see if it's any good this time around, etc. So that's exactly what I want to do tonight. Just want to try it out, see how it is, and uh, go from there. Here's what it's all about. The Toasted Cheddar Chalupa. It's got six months aged cheddar cheese on the chalupa shell. As soon as you hear that, your eyes are going to widen, and you're going to think to yourself, wow, this is premium stuff we're talking about. And when you hear about that aged cheddar cheese, you start thinking, this is artisan stuff right here. I, I'm at a loss for words, I don't know. I, I don't know where I was getting with that anyway. It also has seasoned beef inside. So we have the shell, right? And that's what it's all about, the toasted cheddar. Inside, we have seasoned beef, sour cream, tomatoes, lettuce, and then that, that stupid, useless, worthless, fresh cheddar, right? Because it's all about that aged cheddar. And then you just gotta, you gotta settle for the regular cheddar, too, that's inside. Price for this, $4.19 for the Chalupa. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, Cheddar, you're all right. Well, I don't know, I haven't eaten it yet. Maybe it isn't all right. Maybe it's got some real big problems. We will find out, though. The Toasted Cheddar Chalupa from Taco Bell. Let's open it up and let's see what we have. There it is. Comes in the Chalupa holder, made just for this. Taco Bell. And there's that aged cheddar. Wow. Think about it. Six months. I don't think, you know, when you think of things that are aged, sometimes you'll think of fine beverages, etc. But I don't think anything's ever been aged as long as six months. At least as far as I know. I mean, that's like, and you know the way it goes, that is unheard of. So Taco Bell, they're going all out with this. There's the seasoned beef, and you can see the lettuce, and the fresh cheddar, the tomato, and I guess there's some sour cream mixed in there. Anyway, like I said, tonight's review, just a pretty straightforward thing, just to try it out, see what it's all about, see if it still tastes good, and that's all that there really is to it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. The Toasted Cheddar Chalupa from Taco Bell is going in. We'll take two more bites.
just a cross section there. Focus off. All in all, it's not bad. I, I think, as I, as I think back to the previous times that they've had this item, I know that there was a time where I wasn't a fan of it. And I think the main complaint that I had at the time was that it was very greasy, very oily, but it seemed rather flavorless, at least at that point. This time around, actually, it's not bad. I think they've definitely, this is one of those items where Taco Bell, I, I think they've improved on it. And uh, I could definitely see that. Everything works nicely here, I gotta say. Um, I'm happy with it. It tastes pretty good. I like the chalupa shell, actually. It's It seems less greasy than the last time I tried it out, which is a good development. You could definitely taste that cheddar cheese, though. That's, that's really good to see. Um, I like it has a little crunch to it as well, which texturally speaking is uh, very nice, but... It adds a nice touch, very flavorful. Um, the seasoned beef, as you can see, there's actually a decent amount of it this time around. And uh, that's good to see, because I know Taco Bell, they kind of have issues with the portion sizes sometimes. So the seasoned beef is good. That's actually fine this time around. It's not like some sort of soggy mess. It's actually flavorful, tastes pretty good. The uh, lettuce, the tomato, actually pretty fresh and crisp, I gotta say. So far, so good quality-wise with the Taco Bell ingredients here. Not bad. Um, the cheddar cheese in the chalupa, again, just adds a little touch. I think a lot of people like their cheese. Obviously, it's not going to be as flavorful as, say, the nacho cheese sauce that they have. Um, but it still is a nice touch. Adds, adds a bit to it. And that sour cream uh, is also a very nice addition to this. Um, because otherwise, without it, again, everything works nicely, it tastes good, but again, you get that kind of prevailing, just kind of greasy flavor to it, um, which is obviously in that chalupa shell. The sour cream kind of counteracts that a little bit. It balances everything out, and um, that really is what ties it all together, because sometimes you get these items where, uh, excuse me for a minute, needed a sip of water right there. Sometimes you get these items where there is that one ingredient that just ties it all together. And in this case, it's the sour cream. So I'd say if you get this, just make sure you get it with the sour cream, um, because that's what kind of counteracts, again, any excessive greasiness. And um, again, that just, it blends so nicely with everything, moderates everything out. And uh, honestly, this makes for a pretty good, uh, a pretty good meal. I'll tell you that. I think this is one of those items, and sometimes you get this, sometimes you don't. Uh, Taco Bell, because I remember, again, like in 2019, 2020, when I tried this out, I hated it. And it seemed so monotonous, so, um, I think, flavorless, and I didn't enjoy it at all. I think this is one of those times where maybe they saw their mistakes, and uh, they realized that, and then they improved thereon. So, definitely one of those times. Uh, good to see that they did that, though. And, uh... I would definitely say the 2022 version of the uh, toasted, let me make sure I get the name right, the toasted cheddar chalupa, way better than how it was in the past. So I think they did a good job on this item, pretty affordable too, I think it's just $4.19, and uh, yeah, I think it's good, tastes good, I enjoyed it, and uh, I just say it's a solid item from Taco Bell, and that's what you get sometimes, you know, it's hit or miss. Sometimes you get these items that are just dreadful. Other times you get something that's actually pretty good. This is one of those times. So I'll give it a thumbs up. I enjoyed it. Yeah, in the end, it's Taco Bell. You're not, you know, don't expect um, the best quality in the world. But I think if you're going to Taco Bell, you understand that. So you're not setting your sights super high. That said, out of 10, I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. Pretty good, pretty solid. And, uh... Yeah, all things considered, for Taco Bell, they did good on this one. So, if you want to get it, I say go for it. And, uh, yeah, solid item. On a final note, if you enjoy this channel and uh, maybe you just want to see a little more, I do a podcast and I also do a radio show as well. And I hope you could check those out. 
You can find more information about that in the description. Likewise, if you want to support what I do help keep the podcast and the radio show going, and you want to access exclusive content, please check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash the report of the week. You could also find some information on that in the description and the pinned comment. But just make sure you check it out, patreon.com slash the report of the week. Really help, and uh, if it's something you're interested in, uh, just see what it's all about. That's all I could say. That's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, the report of the week.